Hello, everybody. Hello. Apologies for being late. We've literally just finished eating dinner. So, uh, welcome. Yeah, sorry. I was cleaning the bedroom and then it, time got away with me and didn't have time to cook dinner and eat it before we came on. Life got in the way is so, what happened. Yeah. So, welcome. Um, if you are new here, as I know quite a few of you may be, because um, since I guested on Lonnie's channel, um, we've had a whole bunch of new subscribers. So, welcome if you are new to our Sunday live chat. Uh, my name is Nick. This is my wife. There's dust floating oh, around there's everywhere. There's feathers, I think. <laughs> I've been I've picked out a bunch more stuff from this hall to show you. So it'll be very dusty. I'll probably start sneezing any minute. <laughs> Didn't get to say what my name was. So yes, no, I'm, I'm Nick, and this is <laughs> I'm Andrea. I'm here too. <laughs> All right. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So welcome. If you are new, yeah, welcome to the channel. If you're regular. Welcome back. I can see a bunch of regular names in the side chat. Always yeah. loads of chat because we were so late. I can't yeah. even scroll back to the beginning no. of the chat because we're but, that late. So here's first in our chat. So yeah. we'll say it's so here's first in the chat. Well, I think it was Lucy actually because I said we're, we're going to be late because we're still eating dinner. And Lucy was already oh, in Lucy's the chat. Lucy's always in first. At that point. Yeah. So hi, Lucy. <laughs> yeah, hi, Zaheer. Zaheer was uh, um, live earlier. With a new fancy. I know, I was watching him while I was cleaning the bedroom. Double stream within a stream kind of thing going on. Oh, is that done within OBS then? I don't know. It's far too technical for us. I know. This is about <laughs> as good as we can get it, guys. So here was just showing off. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Dave Rowland said that, you know, we should need, need to up our game now. <laughs> but I This is as up as our game I would not gets. even have a clue how to do that. So. No. Um, so yeah, anyway, welcome to here, uh, Andrea, Adrian, uh, Peter Raisin, Karin. Karin mm. just had 20 auctions finish and sold two, better than yeah. nothing. Exactly. That happens when I run auctions as well, but I'm always happy that's, <laughs> that a couple have sold at least. We need to do that more often. We get all these free auctions with our I shop know. subscription, and I think I used one last month. Yeah, I know, sometimes it just feels like a waste of time though. Yeah. Um, let me say a few more hellos. Hi, Lex. Helen. Uh, let me scroll down. Chelsea. Starley. Christine. George is in. Says hello. Evening, everyone. Is Evening, George. What? I didn't know the door. Someone Do you want to go and check? Door. Someone at the door? Hmm. There's somebody at the door. I'm hoping there's nobody at the door. Um, right. I'm going to try and get to the end. So a few more hellos. Hello, Adrian, Thrifty Trooper, Angie, Amy, Pocket Money. Welcome, everybody. Okay, I'm going to scroll to the end. Uh, oh, blimey, it's jumped. No, well, if there was, they're not there anymore. No? Okay. So we thought um, we didn't really plan today. I, I have quickly grabbed a bunch of stuff off the shelves from our van load of stock just yeah. to show you a few bits. And then we didn't really give it a lot of thought. To we do it. need to give a shout out to uh, the chap who sent this package. Yes, we do. Do you want to do that now? Well, you can do that. OK, right. So basically, the story is um, I was researching a mug that I wanted to sell, which is a Mickey Mouse one. And then I came across another Mickey Mouse one that had the letter E on it. And I thought, Oh, that would be a really nice Easter present for Ellen. I could put a little Easter egg in it. And um, so I bought it. And then I got a message from a lovely chap called Lee, who is from Sweet Swindon. And um, he's just started reselling and said that, you know, he watches our videos. And um, yeah, so he was quite excited that we bought it from him. And um, and then, yeah, so I'm giving Lee a shout out. So hi, Lee. Thank you very much for that. And also he said that because it was us, he was going to give it to us for free, which was a really lovely, lovely thought. Um, and yeah, we really appreciated that. Do you want to send anything else? Should I just go into <laughs> the package? Well, it was a lovely thought that he then said, I'm happy to send it for free, yeah. you know, to thank you for all the help you've given starting me in reselling. There's a big but. Yeah. It turned up. So I'll show this and you yeah. can explain. Um, you might hear it's a mug in many, many bits. So it was a, a really nice gesture, but there's a lesson in here. 
this mug it's in a converse box and it kind of just fits the mug in profile that way yeah and if you are sending ceramics out that's not good enough i'm afraid because you know there's no cushioning between mm. the side of the box and where the mug is and and no matter whether it's royal mail or I hermes think it might have been probably the top that it, yeah something heavy was put on it i i think probably but no matter whether you send Royal Mail, Hermes, or any other courier, these things just get thrown around. They deal with thousands of parcels a day. And if you aren't prepared to chuck your box around, as Zaheer famously showed in one of his videos where he was kicking his own parcel around the office, which yeah. always springs to mind when I'm packaging. Um, yeah, it just, yeah, things won't survive. So it's just such a shame because it was a lovely thought. But unfortunately, we have about 20 bits of mine. Yeah, so how you were going to explain sort of how you package your mugs that sometimes i mean i know mel's had this issue as well that she sent a few things out which have been broken so now she puts everything in a in a box um small box and then puts it in a bigger box and pads all around it um and then you know so it's got lots of room to move and you know if somebody treads on it or they put a big heavy box on it or chuck it somewhere then it's got that room to move inside. I did a and small also it's mug protected earlier. because it's in a, in a small box inside another box. Um, I did tomorrow's packaging earlier. Mm. There's a heat here. And this is a mug. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to do, do, my... do yourself an injury. <sighs> so that's a mug. Um, you know, so the mug's kind of this size in there. So it's got a big, and it, I packed it tightly with. Um, newspaper so if you whack it it's going to absorb it, it have room to vibrate and absorb the 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 uh beating <laughs> so yeah. yeah so i i said that the positive in this is that it came to us so you know um we understand because we've you know we've been new and we've done made mistakes and stuff and also we can explain how perhaps it's better to package a mug in the future whereas if you'd have sent it to someone else they might have complained yeah. or kicked off and given you a negative feedback or whatever so anyway all's good so, and um it's just a shame about the mug but never mind i'm i'm more than happy to eat dog mug to go <laughs> that still makes me feel <laughs> scared i'm gonna have to open that and check before i send I know, it to but no that that, that should be absolutely fine anyway so we just wanted to say thank you lee but it's it's a shame because it arrives yeah. in lots of bits let me get to the end of chat oh tom's in hey tom oh mel's there look yeah thanking the ebay gods for a 40 pound sale this evening it's been a quiet couple of days oh that's cool that's a good, good nice sale. our ebay yeah. kind of you yeah. know we really got going today we I had know, a, we've had a, a few bunch sales, of stuff anyway. yeah um okay uh lee b says does it bump up the postage cost putting the mug in a larger box potentially if you're doing it over the counter you may go because i know they're, they're size restricted mm. i don't have that issue with the kind of royal mail account i have it's all done on weights um but yeah it's a good point and what what if you were sending it hermes should be fine yeah um yeah, but it's worth paying, even if you charge the customer that extra bit, there's no point in sending something out if it's going to arrive in bits. You see what I mean? Vintage Vandal says, this is how you pack a mug. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> okay, what else did we need to talk about? Um, we have done another vlog of the week, um, which I think will be out tomorrow. Another vlog, it's our first one. I've done them before. I know we've done them before, but I mean, you know, for this year. Yeah. First one for this year, Just and Andrea's been filming bits as she goes, and I've been filming bits. So we're, we're kind of messing around with that format. So that hopefully will be ready and out tomorrow. And then, got to get this right, Wednesday, we're going to be on Stephen Steph's channel. Yeah. Uh, for round five, maybe, of the uh, Girls versus Boys game challenge. So I'll drop a link into the tap chat once I have it for that. And then I think it's Thursday, we're going to have Rod on for a chat. Rod is a pommy picker. He's down in Australia, so I cannot wait for that. Yeah. I don't know if he's in the chat. I haven't seen his name pop up yet. Um, so, yeah, 
Hi, Steve. How are you doing? When are you going back to get more, more, more haul? I'm going back <laughs> to see Luke and get more stuff from this haul on Tuesday. So I've got a busy week. Um, I will try and fit in some listing around these things. Uh, I did a bunch of listing tonight. I was watching Zahir and Beck as they were live. Zahir was listing and Beck was photographing and editing the pictures and stuff. Yeah. It was interesting watching them work side by side. Um, some very funny comments. I didn't realise he was working off a template when I said that actually it takes longer to take to um, list things than take photos sometimes. And then Beck was like, no, I disagree. I was like, oh, OK, <laughs> templates, that's a different thing. <laughs> yeah. OK. But how I list, it takes forever to list. <laughs> oh. Jackie B has commented there, says, uh, used to work in the post office and saw what happened to some parcels. Rule of thumb for me, if you can't throw it down the stairs and know it's secure, don't send it. There you go. And yeah. Jackie's seen what goes on in the post office. Well, so. we'll let you know if that one's smashed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I must have sent um, mugs out like that a hundred times and touch wood, not had a problem. Luke's in the chat, by the way. Hey, Luke. I was going to share a few more random bits I grabbed off the shelves from your haul, actually, so you might recognise some of this. <laughs> so should we do that next? Um, yeah. Are you going to look it up live or are you just going to... I don't know. Because oh, when we screen share, we end up being, you know, bad lips. Probably not. Be... I've looked up a few of these bits. A couple I literally just grabbed before we went live, so I have no clue about. Some I do. Um I just wanted to show you the, the kind of scale. A lot of people have said, what did you get in that haul and what's in it and stuff. It's kind of a bit of everything, really. This week I've been listing media and there was a stack of puzzles, which I don't tend to deal in, but because they were in this haul and now we've got them. Sold I was, I was listing them. One sold straight away, which yeah. was nice. Um, but yeah. Um, I just want to say hello to Joan. Um, lost mm. it now. Oh, she says, I'm new here, loving your channel. I sell a little bit and had four successful auctions today. It's good to tune in and get a sense of community. So, hi, Jane. Thank you for joining us. Where's that? I can't even see that. Um, just on here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Welcome, Joan. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So, you sell a little bit and had four successful auctions. Fantastic. Um, so, yeah, I just thought I'd show some stuff. There was, there was a fair amount of, um, like pub ashtrays and bits and bobs. Um, I doubt there's a lot of value in, but they're quite nice things. There's three of these. I don't know whether we'd be better off selling them as a three. Do you think? Mm, Got three identical I ones. Are they yeah, identical? Well, I, I ask myself, why would you want three? If I don't know. Maybe if you've house. got, I think a lot of this sort of stuff goes to um, people who are setting up like man caves or setting up a pub we've got kind of friends of friends of ours they've got a pub in their back garden do you remember richard's Steve. place does it stink of that <laughs> <laughs> do you remember richard's place yeah, he's got yeah. he built a pub in his back garden effectively and he's bought like a load of taps and ashtrays and stuff maybe somebody would want three to go in a themed but i don't know what would you do would you list these individually i don't know if there's much value in them you can look them up now and let me know if you like i haven't even had a chance <laughs> I literally yeah, grabbed I them. I was off. thinking of it that way. Yes, you probably would want to. Is there a maker's you? name? Some of these oh, are made it? by a def oh, decent. I no, I meant the um the ceramic. Oh, that's yeah. the uh the brewery, yeah, that's the isn't brewery. it? So yeah, what would you yeah, do individually or the three? <laughs> they need a clean. They need a clean. That's this one still has fag ash in it. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, there's there's quite a lot of ceramic stuff that we got in this hall. We haven't really looked at any of it yet, have we? No. I did find an interesting plate, actually, didn't I? Do you remember that plate I found? Um, RJ says, sold mine around £10 each. Um, what, these? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'd be quite happy if they were a tenner each. Yeah. <laughs> Luke said he can't even remember what's in the hall, so it'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah. You'll be looking at this stuff, Luke, going, Oh, yeah. Was that it? mine? I don't remember getting that. If we can. <laughs> yeah, there was a plate. About that. There was a plate. What was that? Um, oh, hang on, I can see it. I yeah. found a random plate that was quite good. Lex says vintage fag ash. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was this. I found this in oh, a crate the other day, things. and I thought, I thought that doesn't look much special, but I'll look it up anyway. Do you remember this, Luke? <laughs> it's just a, 
Well, it's got a picture of whatever that is. Rowan antelope. But it's from Kruger National Park. And I looked into Kruger National Park plates and people have been getting, what did I say, 30, 40 quid for it? Mm. It's It's been mounted on one of those really annoying, like uh, spring mounted, you know, things that grab the plate and then you hang it on the wall. So it's got some rust marks that I need to get off. Um, also, but that's quite cool. People are, have been looking up those ashtrays and yeah. stuff that one sold for $2.99 today. Same mm. one sold for $3.99 plus postage. So maybe as a set would be better. Maybe bundle them up then. Yeah. 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 Oh, that one rings a bell, does it, Luke? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I I nearly dismissed it, mate, and thought, what? It's a picture with a with an antelope on it. <laughs> um, but I think people collect them from that series, so I'm yeah. going to have a go. I'm going to aim high, see what happens. Uh, whatever. I was um, telling you, wasn't I, that uh, Nanny used to have a you know a selection of them on her wall in the kitchen, and you know, sort of hang them up. Yeah, on the wall. Collectors' plates. They were yeah. a big deal, weren't they, in the eighties and stuff see them everywhere yeah. um yeah other random things i we moved it'll be in the vlog of the week andrea um got on at me to move all of these crates that were left at the hall from her yes. office but she was in particularly here. grumpy about having to do um but the, the trouble is i can i can barely move in there and i do need to watch i can put, barely move in here and i do need to um put ellen's washing up when she washes and then as soon as I do that, I can't even put, push my chair backwards. So I need space because I can't even like lay anything out and photograph it or do anything like that. So I need space on the floor. Um, okay, I'm just looking in the chat. Vintage Fagash, was that an 80s band? <laughs> it sounds good, doesn't it's it? a good name for a band, actually. <laughs> Sold three on Amazon, forty pounds. Oh, I thought you were talking about the ashtrays. <laughs> Two DVDs and a game. What's that, Paul? Your sales for the day. Whitbread have a loyal following. Tastes like bum though. <laughs> Tastes like bum. <laughs> Kelly thinks. Uh, oh, she quite likes the plate as decorative plates go. Yeah. Um, RJ said that um, his sale was two years ago. So. Yeah, they might have okay. Come down. I think I'll probably bundle them up as a three yeah, uh, that's and probably better. see what I can get for that. <laughs> Try like 12, 12 quid plus shipping. Lisa says life must be tough. Nick Hill's now drinking gin by the pint. <laughs> I'm off. I'm off the booze. We had a oh, cheeky, we, did, we, we fell off. off it last, Go on. Is it last night? Yes, yeah. it was. Yeah. We were on dry January. Um, I'm not meant to be drinking anyway. Cause I, I'm, I've got problems and I've had a load of blood tests done because I'm having a lot of pain at the moment. Yeah. Won't go into that now. But last night you you had quite a stressful day, so we well, so, so yeah. we shared a bottle of wine. And this morning I was in a lot of pain, so I'm going back yeah. on the wagon. Well, I said, uh, you know, I was distressing, and you were doing it for scientific reasons. <laughs> scientific, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're back on the wagon again. So next thing, I I literally just picked these out of one of those crates, which we haven't gone <laughs> yeah. through since we packed the crates at Luke's place and stacked them in the van. So I found these two little boxes, which are HP branded, as you can see. Uh, one's full and one's part full. And I was quite pleased to see that they're data cassettes or data cartridges. Um, these are 400 gig HP data cartridges. Um, I've had various different sorts of these over the years. Some are so obsolete, you just can't shift them. Some are just just old enough where some people still have the equipment that use them yet yeah, hp for example maybe aren't producing them so so they have a market these looks like they're right on the cusp somebody i did see got 10 pounds for one on ebay but other people have struggled to sell them at all i think it's going to be a long tail item or i may just do a bundle there's five in a box there and I think there's another three, right. three or four in there. So to interject before it disappears. Um, yep. Daniel says, Hi Nick and Andrea, I'm a recent sub UK but sell stuff from Australia. Long story short, my import process is quite inefficient. Any Aussies here that may want to help out um with money in it for you? Um so uh, yeah, if you're if you know how to help out Daniel, 
please let him know or message him privately. But hi, Daniel. Thanks for uh, yeah. Hi, Daniel. For tune starting. tune in on Thursday um, when I will have uh, an Australian on the show who is a reseller, and maybe you can come up with you know a mutually beneficial yeah, yeah. thing because Rod is on on yeah. on Thursday. So tune in then. He may be able to help you out. Yeah. Um, so that's um, those. I'll be intrigued to see if I can sell them and what I get on the back of those. Ooh. David McGregor says, how much of the mega hall is Nick's stock and how much is Andrea's stock? Well, it's our stock. Um, there are obviously things that you get more excited about than I do and things that I've picked out and I'm like, oh, I'm excited to list that. But um, I think yeah, I will list the majority of it. It's our stock. Yeah, I'll probably list yeah. most of it. There's, yeah. there's a massive amount of electronics in, some of which I'll show you in a sec. But we don't split things, as in we're not like, you know, we when it's, I think people get the wrong idea that we have two separate things going on because we're, we're doing the same thing and we all the stock that we buy is our stock. It's just we prefer to list certain things each, you know. We prefer media, I prefer clothing. And, yeah, well, that's a distinction. Yeah. I'm just um, doing a doodle. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what I'm doodling. So who remembers these tap points without me showing the front of it? What's that? It's an <laughs> easy one. Knows. I'm pretty sure this was from the hall, wasn't it? I don't think I picked this up. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Oh, I just I just rubbed some of it out because I tipped it up too far. I don't know. We had one. Oh, like the one that was sat on the shelf. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it came. Etch a sketch. Will you take less? But ding. See, I was drawing something, but I, I managed to... Yeah, I didn't have an etch a, etch a sketch, can't say it. I had a Magna Doodle. What was that, a cheap version? No, it was when you had, like, two magnet things. You could draw with magnets and you had a pen. Oh, okay. You could draw with a pen and stuff. We, we have one of these in our house. It, it was a way of keeping me quiet for hours on end. Ah, your mum chose wisely. Yeah. <laughs> So if you've never seen one of these, I think you can still buy them. You basically control the little uh, cursor, as it were, <laughs> before before home computers were around, and um, draw pictures. And if you're clever, you can draw curves by doing them both at the same time. Hey, hey! Will you take less? Said is Magna Doodle a small dog? <laughs> And that would be a micro doodle. A magna doodle surely is a, be a massive magnetic dog. dog. <laughs> a magnetic dog. Yeah, these these are worth picking up. I um, haven't looked one up or sold one for a long time. Don't know what they're currently going for, but that's not news to anyone. Vintage toys, yeah, happy days. I did have a tiny weenie et etch a sketch somewhere as well. I might put the pair together. Oh, yeah. Where did that go? Oh, we might have redonated it, to be honest. I think I picked that up and then we realised it wasn't really worth a lot. Oh, did we? Yeah. Ah, I grabbed this out of a crate as well. This is a Nikon lens. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Um, I briefly, very briefly, before we went live, tried to look it up. Uh, didn't get very far. Similar ones, if not identical, were going for about fifty and beyond. Um, it does have. Sounds a little bit scratchy on the mechanism. Mm. The zoom. But I'll declare that. I don't know if that should sound a lot smoother. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll shoot for about 50 on that. This is nice. I have a couple of other vintage radios I need to list, one of which is a Grundig. Um, and it's one of this Boy series ones. Yeah. Didn't I have one of the Boy? Yeah, I've, got a, I've got a Grundig about this size up there, which is something Boy. This is Music Boy 160. And in this condition, you're probably looking about 20, 25 pounds. Very cool little thing. Oh, this is what normally goes wrong with them. The aerials are snapped off, but it looks like this is fine. Happy days. <laughs> Every week. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, really Saturn like Geek that. says, loving the mug, Andrea. Um, thank you. It's Kath Kidston. Can't get it in the hole. But yeah, I like these. Very nice. There's a lot of people that collect vintage radios, so there's always a market. Now, look away if you don't like creepy dolls. Mm. Give you a chance. Step away from the screen if you don't like creepy dolls. Here it comes. 
ceramic legs and arms yeah check that out that looks like a it looks like a really bad wig doesn't it it does like kind of margaret thatcher style <laughs> so yeah this i know nothing about literally just picked it out of a crate yeah i did briefly look what does it say on there can you read that it says chelsea um and then it's got a number what's a handwritten number oh it says 1994 the hamilton collection oh okay <laughs> 1994 the hamilton collection can someone who's got ebay open somewhere have a look well, actually i could do it without screen sharing let me do it here, see if I can get a result before you guys do. What did we say? Hamilton. Yeah. Hamilton collection, collection dolls. Doll. I could actually put Chelsea in, couldn't I, as well? Yeah. Oh, that says Chelsea. <laughs> Damn it. All right, has anyone found it? Oh, it's not coming up here. Oh, a similar one there, 16. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's a bit yeah, bit all over the place, as, as everything is. Um, looks like there's a market for these Hamilton dolls, though. But they're not worth a whole lot of money. No. Hamilton Collection Casey 15-inch. Yeah, that looks about right. Sold for tenner in America. Yeah, they're not great, then. Okay, don't go out of your way to pick up an ugly Hamilton doll. Everybody's um, sighing with relief. Purify it with sledgehammer kisses. Oh, <laughs> says, will you take less? Oh, it's... Um, Beck says she loves a creepy doll. Yeah, have you still got those creepy dolls? Did you did you ever get rid of those creepy dolls? So I was going to say, it's got its solid ceramic arms and face. I did think it may have some value because it was... Um, ceramic but... Some, i think somebody said but i i think it's gone now that she was donald trump's love child or something <laughs> donald trump's love child <laughs> donald trump and who would produce that um, shirley temple shirley temple <laughs> yeah maybe um, so yeah that's not a winner is it oh bye carla sleep well take care carla uh what's a crate nick a crate is a big well, in this instance, it's that big plastic storage container. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Has Rebecca said uh, if she's got rid of those dolls yet? No. No, oh, I no, sold them. Sold oh, them. good. <laughs> she doesn't think good. <laughs> oh, my God. I saw. <laughs> here thinks good, though. Thank God she sold them. He says. Yeah. Swifty Trooper yeah. swears it just smirked. I think it's got a, a permanent smirk. Oh dear. <laughs> I need to sell that quick. I do not want that sitting around. Can you imagine coming in here with the lights off and that just staring at you from the, from the shelf? Um, another not thing good. I grabbed, that doll was actually wrapped in this or something ceramic was. Um, this is cool. It's an official NFL. So uh nfl national football league isn't it yeah. american football yeah, yeah. um so official really thick good quality it's got the little badge there on the next line and it's a 13 merino so is that is that dan merino is that right i know nothing about this i have absolutely no idea so what oh here we go what's all done here Oh, I reckon it's windy. That's why I thought there was some at the door. It is windy. Yes, Dan Marino. Oh, check my knowledge out. It says it there. Dan Marino. Now, this says on it, throwbacks. So I think this is a, like a reissued vintage shirt. Would that make sense? Because I think Marino is from like the 80s or something. Miami Dolphins. Yes, oh. Craig. Yes. One of the best quarterbacks of all time, Dan Marino, Miami Dolphins, fantastic. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's a that's a good shirt. It's massive. I mean, it, this would fit both of us in it. Oh. Look at the size of that. Hello, <laughs> it's huge. But yeah, I like that. Yeah, I remember. Um, must have been the eighties. Marino playing for the Dolphins. Yeah, I really don't. <laughs> 
No, I wasn't into it, but it was he was kind of a big deal back then. So that's a massive. Oh, Paul says Dan Marino was in an episode of The Simpsons. Okay. Wow. So there you are. You learn something new every day. <laughs> I'm watching the NFL now. Also, Patriots destroying the Chargers. Well, thanks for the update, Pocket Money. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, yeah, I picked out these um, as well. I thought we'd just open them. Oh, Fred them. says that um, an NFL shirt sold for £61. What? And then Ray Deacon says that the shirt, that shirt sold for £31. Maybe the £61 was a vintage. Maybe. And and that shirt perhaps is worth... I'd, I'd love it if it was worth 30 Um I picked these off the shelf as well. I thought we'd open them up together because yeah, I, I don't really know. They're Denby, which is a ceramic... Make manufacturer here in the UK, I believe. What have we got in your box? It looks like a small oven dish. It's got fruit on it. Oh, look, fiend. Mm. So that's like a, what would you use that for? Uh, well, it's like a sort of pie dish, I suppose. Pie dish, you reckon? Mm. So that branded Denby, yeah. I assume... You hold that one for a sec, I'll open the other one. I think there's only three bits of this. There's a, we've got a shelf full of random ceramics that came from this hall. Oh, this is like a... Oh, no, it's the same as that one. We've got two of these. Oh, it says something about me modelling the shirt. No, thanks. <laughs> I'll pass. Two the same. Oh, are well, they the same size? Yep. Oh, okay. So, no idea if they're a winner. Yeah interesting and in the original boxes so that's going to help oh on the back it's got the kind of the range look so yeah yeah so, they look quite vintage, they call they? it a round serving dish this one okay what do they call this other one an um, oblong serving dish <laughs> yes yes yeah ah, winning yeah. so we've got two oblong serving dishes and a round serving dish What's going on here? Oh, but that's the box for this. But it's ovenware, so you know you can bake, use it for baking and all kinds of stuff. So. Okay. So research needed there. Yeah, they're cool. I like them. I'll list them. Okay, you can list them. Fine. Take them away. Okay. Um, and then the last thing. I mean, literally, this is still the tip of an iceberg with this haul, and there's there's no way we're going to show you all of it. It take months. Um. A big proportion of it is electronics. Um, it's loads of DVD players and amps and VHS players and CD players. Um, I was looking at a couple of these, and I think one's an amp and one's a, a receiver. Uh, there's this great big, it weighs a ton. This is just an example. This is a great big Yamaha, which I don't know if I've got the remote for. I did briefly look it up. With the remote, it has some value. Without, I think I'm going to struggle a bit. Um, I was obsessed with dogs tonight. It says Denby. Is that a big dog? <laughs> a big dog? I was obsessed with dogs. Our neighbour's got a new puppy. We haven't seen it yet, but we hear it a lot. Especially early morning on a Sunday. <laughs> well, it when talks. they go out to church, I assume, because I think she goes out that time every morning on a Sunday. Um and it just barked and barked and barked and barked for about two hours, the poor little thing, because it was on its own. Oh, hello. Why didn't you ching then? Because I'm on silent. Um, it's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Blu part two Blu-ray. Cool. So that, I think, isn't particularly good unless somewhere I can find a remote. And there is a bag full of remotes, which I don't know if they relate to any of the equipment. It's, it's it's going to be quite a task just uh, matching Spotify everything up. Spotify is installed inside. Spotify installed. This, I think, is going to be a lot better. Again, I don't know if I have a remote, which may might make quite a bit of difference. This is Onkyo. And the lead is stuck. I'm making a mess. So, and this, I believe, oh, is um, just a... Gary's got a good tip. He says, uh, replacements.com will give you the Denby model name if it's not on the box. Okay replacements handy so yeah just to give you an idea these are probably the two heaviest bits of a um 
electronic equipment I've got. That's a nice Onkyo. Now, is that a receiver or is that an amp? Can't really tell. Receiver. It's a receiver. receiver. Yeah. What's the difference? Because I don't understand. It's a radio receiver and amp amplifies your sound. Okay. Basically, and so I'm no you, expert. Yeah, but what would you use this for? Receiving radio signals, which in the digital age isn't that great, is it? But the, I assume it's a digital radio receiver yeah. then. It must be. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, they were selling when I, this was the one I punched in the number just as we sat down. Yeah. Anyway, I've got to put it down again now. Yeah, I've got so much testing and. Oh, um, Sahir says receivers are amps with radios built in. Thanks, Sahir. Oh, there you go. So it's an amp as well as a receiver. That's cool. Shows how much I know. Well, there you go. I'll tell you what, though. Good job we're friends with Sahir. <laughs> but it goes to show, and I've sold things like that before with very little difficulty without really knowing too much detail because the beauty of ebay is you can search the model number right and it comes up with somebody who has listed that exact model and then you can take all the detail from their listing and gain that information that you don't necessarily have to know yourself and um, you kind of wing it and that's what i tend to do with electronics works for me okay must be DAB to be getting Spotify. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So that was all I grabbed off yeah. the shelves to so share. Said if it's called an AV receiver, yes, it's called an AV receiver. That's what it says on it. Cool. Um, right. So that's all I had. Ah, Pommy Pickers are in. We were talking about you in your absence. Um, good day be in and out but thought i'd say hello yeah looking forward to catching up with you on thursday mate so what else were we going to talk about today um, i don't know oh it's already 10 to 9 i know we're a bit late but oh it is okay we had a couple of people i had a couple of people message me um on facebook to specifically ask if we were going to do quiz because <laughs> They wanted to tune in for quiz. <laughs> we so, didn't really do that last week, did we? So we'll do a little bit of quizzing to wrap up. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It gives you a little uh, insight into the sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, we are I mean, ploughing through. When you were moving the crates out of my office, I was having a rummage through. I was like, oh, well, that's interesting. Oh, I didn't know we had that. <laughs> it's like um, almost going sourcing every day, really. Yeah. We just we just go and open out, uh, look in another crate and see what's in there yeah. and i'm already forgetting what i've put in the loft i know it's going to be like christmas every day isn't it <laughs> yeah i may have a oh, buyer dear. for a section now in the loft trouble is they were one of the first things i put in the loft so they're right at the back oh, and i be. haven't left a way of getting to them and then since i've put all those motorbike leathers in and loads of other bulky oh, stuff lexa said lex said any amps yeah i need one for my record player well these are amps but they're massive mm. <laughs> whether you'd want something this size i don't know or whether that do, i'm no expert you need to work out speak to zahir find out what it is you need and then i'll see if these will do the job for you paul says i'm only doing a quiz if santa claus isn't here well paul surely you know by now that santa claus is on his holidays because christmas has finished so he's probably selling himself in the caribbean okay um right what sort of quiz do we want uh, to do piggy wigs has asked me if i bought any wicker items lately i haven't no um and i do have quite a lot of it to list and um i haven't watched mel's video yet but i have seen the trailer for it where she's talking about not wanting to pick up wicker because she had trouble selling it <laughs> um so i don't know really? i think I've, you i think, really think well on your... yeah i did but i think the thing with wicker is picking up items that um are really unusual that you know isn't sort of run-of-the-mill stuff um yeah i think that's the trick to it really because the things that i've done really well on are things that you, you know you don't see everywhere all the time well it stands to reason because there's a lot of it listed yeah so to stand out you're gonna have to have something a bit different yeah, yeah. And because it's been such a trend for a long time, most people have got all of the sort of bog standard, you know, things that you have in your sort of boho living room type thing. 
and um, are looking for more unusual things. People are sending answers already. You don't even know the, the subject matter yet. Yes, Lisa, the answer is Led Zeppelin. <laughs> We've got, is the answer Girls Allowed or Led Zeppelin or All Saints? What, what? Somebody did ask, say, can we oh, have TV? I've got that's I, TV. I yeah, found so an it's not, not Led Zeppelin. I found or an entertainment. Well, it's entertainment. So or Timmy Mallet. <laughs> it might have some TV questions. Okay, so how we do these quizzes if you're new. Now, I've got top chat on. So I need to have live chat. On. Oh, yeah. So Do we can I? see it come through. Well, I'm not sure if that makes any difference. Oh, it did change. It changed. Um, Adrian asked if that was... Um, Elvis Presley. Don't know. What? Is that Thundercats? Adrian asked. Oh, the T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. It's the Thundercats logo behind the... Wow. Anyway. Yeah. Right. So how this works, if you've never um, joined us for one of these quizzes, basically at the end of the Sunday show when we've stop talking about tat we'll have a bit of a quiz and i will keep score and the winner gets some tat points need a pen bear with that would be so who was it last week i can't remember who won it last week mm. it wasn't even last week we didn't do it last week santa claus oh santa claus okay so i'm going to ask a question and then it's the first correct answer that appears in the chat Sometimes we see a slightly different order from you guys. I can screen share the chat if you want us to. Let us know if you'd rather screen share the chat or, or look at us. Anyway, so first question. Fastest finger first. On which? Oh, no, that is a different. I was in a different oh, one No, no, it just skipped. Oh, you let go on. of it and then it changed the page. There were some really good questions on that page I was on. <laughs> Hang on, wait, wait, bear with, bear with. I can't find the page I was on. There were some good ones on there. Oh, bums. <laughs> the, the answer to all questions is 42. It's what? 42. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to have to go with something else. That's so annoying. Oh, no, here we go. Right. What was the name of the horse in the TV series Steptoe and Son? Do you know? Are these the answers at the bottom? Yeah. Okay. I know now because I looked at the answer. No, it wasn't level 42. <laughs> oh, Lex has finally traded in her tap points for a yacht. Oh, oh, well done, Lex. Can we go out on it with you? Yeah, we'll, we'll pop down, go out for a cruise on your, on your yacht. Oh, 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 they're coming in, they're coming in. Oh, oh my goodness, I can't keep up. Very quickly. Hercules. Claire that got it. Claire. It is Hercules, isn't it? Yes. So, Claire. Wow, that was quick. Claire Cairns. Gets a point. One tap point. And then the winner gets some bonus ones. Is that how we work it? I can't remember. I don't know. I think we just changed it. Uh, Dave said Mr. Ed, different horse. George had no idea. Black Beauty, Bob, Pickles, Samson, Trigger. <laughs> and then a bunch of people got the right answer, including uh, Stu, Dave, um, Antoinette. Oh, hi, Antoinette. How are you? Andrea, Lisa. Yeah. Okay. So Claire is off to a flying start. Next question. What instrument... Did Dave Clark of the Dave Clark Five play? I think I know. That would be a complete guess. Oh, I got that right. Part. What would you guess? I knew that somehow. We probably had this in a quiz. Don't want to say it. You can guess. Their, their answers will be typed in already. I won't tell you if you're right or wrong. I was going to say just guitar. Guitar. So Andrew's saying guitar. We've got answers coming in. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, wait, wait. Uh, trumpet. No. Steve Green. Drums. He's got it. Really. Steve Green's only gone and got that himself would have a tap been my point. my second guess. <laughs> yeah, he's a drummer. Right. Steve Green's got a tap point to go with his bag of tap points. <laughs> Steve got special tap points when we met up. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, that's just your filthy mind. <laughs> oh, this is a good question. I'm not even sure I know the answer. I'd have a guess at oh no, no i don't think i'd have got this 
What was the occupation? Oh. Fingers ready. Of Captain Mannering in Dad's Army. No, what was his job? If you don't know what Dad's Army was, it was the uh, program about the, oh, what do they call it? The Reserve Army sort of thing. What do they call them? You know what I, I don't mean. know. Oh, blimey, answers oh, coming in. Oh, yes, now I remember it was. Oh, I can see loads of yeah, correct yeah. answers, but who was in first? Uh, doctor, milkman, postman, no, Chelsea, bank manager. Bang on. Yep, Captain Mannering was the bank manager. She says that Lacey ate his tap points. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. Can't argue with that. Yeah, so Captain Mannering... Home Guard, that's what I was trying to remember. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Adrian. Yeah. yeah, great show. I love that. It stands up. You can watch it today and it's just as funny. It was a program all about Second World War Home Guard, which were people who stayed behind um, and they basically were our defence ranks in case of invasion. Death by Glamour says, I'm way too young for these questions. Sorry. That's all we've got right now. Well, we can't. we could switch to um, these, which are way too modern for us. <laughs> yeah, we could we could do a little bit of this and then it's some of the music. All right. Some of this is more recent though, so keep watching. Oh, Stu says she didn't ask. I came home and the tap points were gone. Oh no. Oh, see. that's a different matter, Stu. That's uh <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh. Shocking. Well you've got you've got one back now anyway. Okay, so next, uh fastest finger first. Oh my goodness, what a TV programme. Which film and TV series featured the character Hot Lips Houlihan? Do you know this? No. No. Oh, it's one of my favourites from when I was a kid. This you do need to be my sort of age for. <laughs> MASH. There, Thrifty oh, Trooper. Okay. Yeah, I never watched MASH. It's one of the funniest sitcoms ever. Wow. Oh, look at the answers coming in. <laughs> do you want me to... Um, let me know. Would you rather see us or shall I screen share the chat? Uh, so just put screen Who share. Would you rather or... see us? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> who, who did I say that was? Who, who got that I right? I don't know. I've instantly oh, forgotten. Went really... Oh, hang on. Thrifty uh, Trooper. Trooper. So we have a four-way tie. Um, us, you, 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 see you, see you. Okay, right. I won't share the chat then. <laughs> So we have Claire on one, Steve on one, Chelsea on one, and Thrifty Trooper on one. Okay. Next. Uh, let's try and find one a little bit more modern. Oh, that's easy as hell. That's just going to be who can type quick. Oh, yeah. Should we go for that? that? Yeah. yeah. This is crazy easy. If you don't know this, where have you been? With which pop group did Phil Collins originally play? Wait for it. It's going to be an explosion of comments. Why can't I move the chat? Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, Chelsea. Oh, that means we've we've got someone in the lead now. Genesis, Genesis, Genesis. Wow. Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child. <laughs> Beatles. Yeah, all right. Whatever, Steve. Yeah, it was Genesis. There's a there's a few odd answers coming in, but yeah, most people knew that. Yeah. And uh, what did I say? Chelsea. So Chelsea yeah. taking the lead with two tap points. That's difficult. I don't know his name. I have absolutely no idea what Should his name is. We asked that. Yeah. Difficult question. But I think he's still in it, isn't he? I think he is. Okay. This I think this is hard. I've watched know. it for years, but I think he is. Who plays Charlie Fairhead in Casualty? Apologies if you're American, because you probably have no idea what we're talking about with some of these questions. Who plays Charlie Fairhead in Casualty? And I'm pretty sure he's been in it since the beginning. Oh, we're not going to know what the answer is. Oh, hang on. <coughs> oh. Okay, there was, a, there was an answer there that was close, but it was wrong. Oh, I think somebody got it. It's that. Yeah, Adrian. Adrian Davies. Yes, Derek Thompson. 
I would not have known that. Adrian Davies. That, but they might have Googled it. <laughs> That's fine. If you're first, you're first. Adrian, what? Who? What now? Thompson. No, Derek Thompson. Adrian Davies. I'm getting so confused. Right. So Adrian's off the mark. Um. Oh, what's the answer to that? I think I know. Do you? Yeah. Oh. So, uh, so that was, should I try and find a, a modern one? Should I do a couple more off here and then we'll do some of the modern ones? Yeah. Should I try that then? That's an old question though, isn't it? Um, it could do. Oh, this is quite an interesting one. Oh, yeah, I, I know, know the answer that. to that. Well, we, we both know the answer to this one. <laughs> Working record chops yeah. helps. Who composed the planets? Classical music. Who composed the planets? So we're looking for the composer. Holst. I better check, but that's pretty yes, damn sure. Is. That's what, yeah. Stew, man. Holst. Well done, Stu. That point to you, which means Chelsea is still leading with two. Right, we're going to switch it up, and um, do you want to ask, ask some? Yeah. I'm going to hand over to my glamorous hostess with the mostess, find some interesting questions somewhere in there. Just grab that middle bit. I think we've done these ones. <laughs> I've done this one, definitely. Oh, I was trying to grab some out the middle so we won't have done them. Well, just rifle through until you oh, find right. a question. I, did, I think I did all these last time. All right, try that part then. Okay. You got one? Yeah. Okay, right. What was the last Michael Jackson original solo song to reach the UK, the UK top 10 during his lifetime? Was it A, Hold My Hand, B, Cry, C, one more chance, or D, history. So what was the last Michael Jackson UK top 10 single? Um, hold my hand, cry, one more chance, or history. I think I'd say cry. But I don't really know. Certainly not history. Oh, a lot of people are saying history now. <laughs> I think history was before. That was from his big best of, wasn't it? Yeah, do you want to go back? Yeah, bet it was this. What's the answer? One more chance. Oh, okay. So I was wrong. A lot of people are also going for cry. Where did the answer start coming in? Um, people were putting answers in that weren't even yeah, options. There was... What? Oh, there we go. So it starts um... here. So what I'm looking for, one more chance. Yeah. There we go. James Martin. Oh, well done, James. Oh, I thought James had got one right already. That's his first. Correct. Okay. Yeah, it was a single from the um, Greatest Hits album, the number ones. Oh, was it? So yeah. it wasn't off his Invin Invincible? No. If it's an easy one, we don't need to give the, the multiple choice as well. Do you remember last time? Some were that okay. easy. All right. In which year did Rihanna have her first solo UK top 10 hit? Was it 2005, 2003, 2001, or 2007? Which year did Rihanna have her first solo UK top solo? I mean, she was never in a band, was she? I don't know if it's top 10, because she was before Umbrella Ella, she was doing stuff, wasn't she? It might be 2003 if, it's, if it is Umbrella. I don't know, I can't even see. I can't read it. <laughs> it was 2005. Was so it? Who, who was that? Oh, what? Well, I'm bad at these. Oh, wow. Loads of answers coming in. So, 50 Troop for 2004. What's the answer? 2005. 2005. So that was AEA no, Sales. No. AEA Sales. 2005. I thought it was way earlier than that. So, we've got loads of people on one. Chelsea, miles ahead on two. <laughs> on two. Okay. What type of animal was one of the best men at the 2014 wedding of Elton John and David Furnish? 
I don't know if we need options. Let's just see what animals come in. What type of animal was uh, one of the best men at Elton John's wedding? Lisa's straight in. <laughs> That's right, isn't it? It was a dog. Yeah. Lisa, you got a tap point. Um, well, yeah, lots and lots of people saying dog monkeys coming in. Dodo. Mm, tricky. Tiger. Shih Tzu. Elephant. Penguin. Frog. <laughs> parrot. Ferret. Pig. Wonky. A carpy. What? <laughs> okay, so Lisa's off the mark. Okay. Who had a hit in 2002 with a moment like this? Was it A. Kelly Clarkson, B. Katy Perry, C. Pearl Jam or D. Green Day? None of those. <laughs> a moment like this. Oh, was it? In 2002. I haven't got any of these right so far. Kelly Clarkson, oh. Katy Perry. Well, we've got it already. Pearl Jam, Green Day. There it is straight away. Um, big smile D. Oh, yeah, Kelly Clarkson. Indeed, it was covered by Leona Lewis. I think that was her winner's single when she won the X Factor. So, Chelsea still in the lead. Um, right, who had a, a UK number one hit in April 2010 with This Ain't a Love Song? I know, <laughs> I can't what say, was it The Fray? Arctic Monkeys, Scouting for Girls, or Owl City? Okay, what I thought isn't even an option. 2010, April 2010, This Ain't a Love Song. The I've... Fray, Arctic Monkeys, Scouting for Girls, or Owl City? I thought it was Bon Jovi. They've done a song called yeah, that. Yeah, they have. <laughs> yes, they have. Was it a cover of the Bon Jovi song? No. <laughs> All right, answers are coming flooding in. Oh, my word. So what's the answer, sorry? What's the correct answer? Scouting for girls is the answer. So Erica, no. Elaine, no. Arctic Monkeys, it wasn't. It was Big Smile D. Big then. Smile D. Oh, you know what that means. You've drawn with Chelsea. Chelsea, you need to get another answer quick. Okay. Too slow on that one. So Big who's, Smile D is equal first. Whose 21st century hits include... Danny California. Oh, easy. That'll do. <laughs> By the way, and Zephyr song. I'm not even going to give you options. We don't need options don't for that. Danny California. Come on, people. Yes, Erica, Erica. Straight in. Ooh. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Erica 81. Has Erica got a point already? No. Okay, who duetted with Madonna on the 2008 hit Four Minutes? I know. I'll start. I'm, I'm going to see if anyone gets it without options. Yeah, they'll get that without options. You don't need options for that. So, oh, I think oh. last time we said no. But he goes by oh. that as I think we can allow JT oh, there because he go goes by that as a as a name, doesn't he? Okay, so or, was... although if Thrifty Trooper got it, that would make things interesting. We're gonna we'll we'll give Jason and Thrifty Trooper the point because we can't oh. decide. And that okay. means we've got a three-way tie. It's Justin Trouser Snake. <laughs> so I'm gonna give that to both of you just to make it interesting. So now I'll give Jason a point as well as well. Um, yeah, Justin Trouser Snake, that was. So that means Thrifty Trooper, Big Smile D, and Chelsea are all on two, and everyone else who's had a point is still on one. Okay. The stereophonics are from which country in the British Isles? Too easy. <laughs> we don't have many options there, anyway. George says he's been cheated twice in a row. How? <laughs> oh, is it? Look, I'll, I'll, I can share what we see again if you want to see what we see. On our screen, you were third. Hang, actually, look, let me let me screen share. I know, but it takes it, it puts us out of sync when you screen share. Ah, I'll be fine. <sighs> <laughs> we'll do a few more and then we'll wrap it up and we'll get a winner. I just want to show George that we're not making. It's not. Um, there you go. You can see what we see there. On that last question, in the middle, it says Jason Entwistle, JT, Thrifty Trooper, Justin Timberlake, and there you are, George. 
third with JT. Okay, I'll leave that on for the last couple of questions and you can see what we see. Okay, then. Um, oh, we didn't get an answer for stereophonics. Oh, yeah, right. So let's find the first. Why It's obviously Wales. Uh, wailed. <laughs> <laughs> we know what you mean, Stu. So Stu oh. is on two. So we've got Chelsea on two, Thrifty Trooper on two, Stu Mandry two, Big Smile D on two. How many more questions are we going for? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Five more? Five more people. Wow. Okay. Okay. Right. right let's bash through these quickly. Who featured on Ollie Mers' 2012 hit Troublemaker? Was it Wiz Khalifa, Dappy, David Getter, or Flo Rida? Ooh, that's tricky. That's tricky. So that was um, Oli Mayer's hit, um, Troublemaker. See, I thought that, Adrian, Rizzle Kicks, that was on a different one, wasn't mm, it? It wasn't. That, was well, the... that wasn't an option, so. Well, that, and also, I think that was actually Rizzle Kicks. Song. Oh, uh, oh, yes. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, go oh, back. What's the answer? What, what's the answer? It's Flo Rida. That is Big Smile D. Where, where? Here? Yeah. yeah. Right, so that so first that makes big smile D in the lead. Big it? smile D on three. Yeah. Oh, it rhymes. <laughs> okay, so you've got four more questions. Okay. Right. Um, which music icon released the album the next day in 2013? Oh, too easy. What do you think? Hell shall yeah. I, shall I not give people options? Oh, we don't need options for that. Music Icon released the album the next day in 2013. It wasn't Elton John. iTunes. Yes, Lisa. Lisa, David Bowie, oddly spelt. We'll give you that. So, yeah, Carly said that. David part. Bowie, D A V I D space <laughs> B O W I E. Thanks, yeah, Siri. Yeah, thanks, Siri, for that. That's. Uh... <laughs> Very nice of you to get involved. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, yeah, on our screen, there you go, Lisa. So yeah. that makes things interesting. Lisa now has two. And um, we have three. Oh, have you done that one? No, not yet. We've got, what, three left? Right. Okay. Three questions left. Yeah, I was just saying that Karen said that's hard. And I thought it was hard. I wouldn't know. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose um, any question is easy if you know the answer. Yeah. To me, that seemed easy. Right, who teamed up with Lil Wayne in 2010 for the hit right above it? Was it Beyonce, Usher, Kesha or Drake? Didn't we have this one before? I don't know. I have no clue whatsoever. <laughs> I only know because I'm looking at it. Jason says Drake. Yes, Jason is right. Is that right? Yes. Wow. Um... Uh, vintage fag ash, it's got to be. I can't <laughs> click on it to show it. Um, so that was Jason. Ooh, that makes things interesting. Mm. Jason's on two. Okay. Shall I come out of so, here for the last couple? No. No? Which female singer links the hits right here, hold my hand, rather be, and don't be so hard on yourself? Is it Katy Perry, Jess Glynn, Tiny Temper or Lady Gaga? So, which female singer links the hits right here? Hold my hand, rather be, and don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah, we have an answer already from Thrifty Trooper. Oh, I've just tried to make it bigger. Oh, that worked. Check me out. And then can I make this bigger like that? Whee. And then can I make this bigger again? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> right, so, who, wow, that's big. Um, hang on, that's the last question. What was the answer? The answer is Jess Glynn. I'm on the wrong question. Oh, there you go. Was that the first one? Oh, I've got to make it smaller because I can't actually... <laughs> 
shrink, shrink. Why is anyone that shrink? I can't shrink it now. Oh, no. I've got issues. I can't shrink it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. Um, who are misses? Oh, oh, there you go. That shrunk. Right. So, who are we saying? Who got that? Right. So it's Jess Glynn. Yeah. Chelsea. No. Oh no. There's loads more up here. Look. Jess Glynn. Jess Glynn. Jess Glynn. Story time. Thrifty Trooper. I think Thrifty it was. Trooper. Yeah. Thrifty Trooper. Thrifty Trooper. Right. So how many questions have we got that now? Puts Thrifty Trooper on three. So he's drawn with Big Smile D. Oh, right. I'm going to come out of screen share. Is this the last question? I can't remember how many we've done. <laughs> uh, dear. Well, I've done all these questions. You run out of questions we haven't done. There we go. I think we're back. I know. I've run. Well, I've done. I've asked all those ones previously. Right. So you can see that's how we see it, and we're just you know we can only call it as we see it. Um, let's get to the bottom of the chat. Everything's going so slow. Big Smart D says, "Oh my God, I have to win." <laughs> Well, the situation now, I don't know if we've got one or two um, questions left. Okay, right. This is quite a tricky one, I think. But so, one sec. So right now the situation is uh, we've got Big Smile D on three, Thrifty Trooper on three, Chelsea on two, Stu Mandry on two, Lisa Fenn on two, Jason Entwistle on two, and then a bunch of people on one. Okay. How many more are you, are you doing? Well, I said five. How many have I done before? I can't remember. I don't know. Should we do two? Okay. We're going to do two, and then that's it. Right. Okay. Crossfire was a 2010 solo hit for which singer who's usually to be found fronting his Las Vegas band? Oh, yes. I know. Is it Gary Lightbody, Adam Levine, Dave Grohl, or Brandon Flowers? Lulu, no. <laughs> Barry Manilow, no. Mm, nope. Good guess, though, Sue. Can we have mm, a general it wasn't knowledge Adam question? Levine. It's not Adam Levine. It's not Adam. Brandon oh, Flowers. The Car Boot Bible came in with Brandon oh, Flowers. Oh, Thrifty Trooper on our screen. You are second behind Car Boot Bible. <laughs> Brandon Flowers from The Killers. Um, so, Car Boot Bible. Somebody was asking for a general knowledge question. Should we end on a general knowledge? Just to, you know, make it a bit different. Um, you could. <laughs> general knowledge. It seems a bit odd to just do one general knowledge question. I'll find out. I'm going to make it a difficult one because, you know, there's a lot riding on well, this. Well, shall I just finish this on serious. this pop one so we can see who... Cause you know, we've got pop music knowledge. Whatever knowledge you want to do. Here. Okay. okay, right. I'm going to ask one more pop. We'll one. do some general knowledge next week. How's that? Which group had two UK number one hits in 2000? See, I don't even think this is a group, is it? But anyway, um, <laughs> I've probably given that away. Um, had two number one hits in 2013 with Wake Me Up and I Could Be The One. That's hard. Was it Avicii, One Direction, Clean Bandit, Little Mix? So I've probably just given away the answer. <laughs> I would have no idea. Ant and Dick, wham. Erica came in there. Venga oh, Boys. Thrift Trooper, you are just not quick enough. Oh, Erica, 81. Oh, which means Erica 81 is on two. I know. This, are we going to declare it as a draw or carry yep. on? No, that's fine. Draw is fine. We've got 50 Trooper has won tonight's quiz alongside Big Smile D. Yeah. So you both get three tap points that you got for your answers and a bonus five. Because I'm feeling generous. And everyone else, uh, you keep the tap points that you got. 
can't actually do anything with them. But you can. You can. They're, they're very valuable. You know? People love their tap points. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there you go. That was our quiz for this evening. I hope that was fun. Oh, Big Smile D says, oh, my God, I never win anything. <laughs> well, hey! So well done, uh, Thrifty Trooper and Big Smile D for the win. And everyone who got some uh, points. We'll do a general knowledge one next week. Remind us if we forget that I said that. There are general knowledge pages in here. So if you're not up on your pop music or you're not into all of that, yeah, you might do better next week. We've got science and nature in here and general knowledge, sport and leisure. Ooh. What is this? Um, not my strong point. What? Trivial Pursuit. Trivial Pursuit. It's <laughs> similar. But we'll, we'll stick with general knowledge for next week. Okay. Yeah, they're fun questions. Look at them. Which anniversary does a golden wedding celebrate? Yeah. What's gold? Is that 25? You know that. Do I? I How does he not know what the oh, golden wedding anniversary is? Why should I know that? Fiftieth. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> oh yeah, people, yeah. In the, people <laughs> in the chat know. <laughs> what was it? My nan and granddad got to. It was ruby. They got to. No, it wasn't ruby. It was um, diamond. It was sixty. Was it? Yeah, it was. I remember it being a big one. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa says, Andrew, slap his legs. <laughs> Whoa, what? Just because I don't know that. <laughs> Whatever, guys. <laughs> right, so we are now 20 past nine. I think we're going oh, to yeah, that's a bit fast, actually. wrap up. Yes. And we'll see you. Well, tomorrow we'll try and get this uh, little vlog out that we did of last week. Oh, and Christine said, last I week. love your jumper. Thank you. What, mine? <laughs> Thanks. Um, yeah, we'll try and get the vlog out tomorrow and no, we're not going to try to it will it'll be going up on a monday okay our weekly vlogs will go up on a monday evening yep but we did wrap it up we filmed a bit to wrap it up and then nick deleted it so yeah I... it's all ready to go apart from a little wrap-up section <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't know what i did it's vanished off my phone and then tuesday um the tat chat is carrying on um some of you may have heard um to his step down from from being in that every week um you know, we've, yeah. we've done it together yeah. for, I don't know how long, a couple of years, maybe, year and a half, two years, yeah. at least. It's been a, it's been a long time. Um, so Zaheer is not going to be on it every week. He might pop in now and again, um, but it will be carrying on. As far as I know, it's going to be on my channel. It may it may evolve to move around to different channels. I don't know. Um, but join us on Tuesday for that. And then, like I say, Thursday, we will have Rod on. I'm pretty sure it's Thursday. We've arranged. I need to check messages. Wednesday, we're going to be on Stephen's desk channel to do round five in the boys versus girls. Yeah, I'm always nervous thing. of these ones when we're on their channel. I know. We <laughs> have, at this point, we had no idea what game mm. we're playing. I was pressing Steve to try and get what it, what it was, and he just sent me a GIF about secrets or something. Oh, I don't no. know. It's like, yeah, whatever, <laughs> Steve. And, um, yeah. yeah, so we don't know what we're going to be playing. I think it's two all, is it? Did it even up? Maybe can't remember need to go and watch back the last <laughs> video and find yeah. out where we're at if you've not seen those basically we hook up with Stephen steph the resale killers in america and we play a random game and then it's boys versus girls and it's an ongoing competition so yeah they're always good fun so we'll see you there if you can join us for any of those if not we'll see you next week for another random waffle for an hour or so so have a good week, everyone. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Take care. Thanks for joining in. We'll see you soon.